The extraordinary entertainers Penn and Teller praised our next guests as one of the greatest living magicians. You can catch his world-renowned talent at Chicago Magic Lounge and hear with more on this and to show us one of his cool tricks, Peter Samuelson. Peter, thanks for being here. My pleasure. It's my delight to be here. Thanks so much for having me. It's yes. a great opportunity for us to talk a little bit about this show. Yeah, so it's Magic kind of... Love Mystery. Tell it us is. all about exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it's about magic and it's about love okay. and it's about a mystery. It's a story Why did you look at G when you said love? <laughs> I, well, well. I'm flattered. I'm very flattered. <laughs> Proceed. Continue. It, it's yes. The wonderful thing about it is that it really is a, a story of star-crossed lovers. Okay. And it's this little thing of uh, between following them through their Mm, their adventures that don't necessarily, well, I won't tell you the ending except mm -hmm. to say that it's dramatic. So you're telling a story as it you do is. your tricks. Yeah, I've really done this throughout my life. As okay. My background is in theater. I graduated from Stanford with a degree oh. in theater after deciding physics was not for oh. me. Smarty pants, huh? Exactly. Oh, well, <laughs> I had the opportunity and I almost took it. So, <laughs> and then. We Oh, oh the, audience, the audience participates too, right? Yes, a lot. I use a lot of audience participation. As a matter of fact, I want to do something that we'll use oh, the yes. two of you guys. Yeah. Okay, here, here. we try to be a good audience. We'll try our best. Do you want uh, us on either side yeah, of you? Yeah, okay. okay. you, yes. uh, please, oh, please. Well, here we are. Yeah, come, come right here. Mm -hmm. uh, so the show that we're doing is obviously is Magic Love Mystery. And the thing that's so lovely about this is that I thought that what I would do is I would tell you guys a myth. You know what a myth is, of course. Yes. A myth is a story. Right. Mm -hmm. A story that is both true true and not true at the same time, making it perfect for magic. Okay. Uh, this is a writing instrument. If you yes. just put your initials right down there, okay. that'd be great. All right. I don't, so, I don't have a middle initial. Okay? That doesn't just matter. It's really you know. fine. Okay. You can do whatever you like. It's All right. your life. <laughs> <laughs> In ancient Greece, they had this myth of the phoenix. Now, the phoenix was a bird, bird imagery. Mm -hmm. And that bird was scarlet and it was golden. It resembled mm -hmm. a falcon or an eagle. Oh, look, origami. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really cute. Awful. Okay. Well, like on the cruise <laughs> ship where they had the little towel. <laughs> exactly. And at the end of 500 years, this phoenix would build a nest in a great oak tree and flap its wings so rapidly that the nest would catch on fire and it would sit there and burn until there was nothing left uh -huh. but ashes and embers and the smoke that mm -hmm. rose into the night. Uh, you're about to meet the phoenix. Ooh. You're going to burn it? Ooh. Uh, you are. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you're uh -huh. a little eager, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Should I wait? <laughs> no, yeah. that's all right. I'll come to you, okay. though. Okay. Oh. She's right. a pyromaniac. There we go. Perfect. Just right. like that. Thank you. The Ooh. phoenix would burn for days and days uh -huh. and days until all that was left were the ashes, the embers, uh -huh. Ooh. and the smoke that rose into the night. Uh -huh. mm. Beep. Beep. Smell that. I can smell it. <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. uh, we're good. We're good. You, yeah. you, you, can, you can actually feel that. Uh, yeah, I, I, w I wouldn't do that to okay. you. Okay. Exactly yeah. right. Okay. It's real. It really <laughs> burns. It really is. Uh, can okay. I just hold out your hands, please? Like just this? Like, just like that, yeah. Close okay. your hands in fists, if you would, please. Fists. Are you right or left-handed? Right-handed. Right-handed? Excellent. I'd like to have you extend the index finger in your right hand. Now, we know this is not too hot, but I just want you to feel that right okay. there. Okay, yes. You feel it's all charred and burned. It sure destroyed. does. Exactly. And I'd like to have you, so you stay right where you are, uh -huh. and I'd like to have you hold, yes. if you would, please, but hold on to it from underneath, if oh, you would, sure. please. Just like, like that. Okay. Yeah. You got that? Just like that. One hand is fine, just sure. like that. Okay. And now bring that oh. over. That's okay. Oh, that's okay. There you go. Then bring that over here. I don't want okay. you to just tap that right there. Now you can feel that. That's all smooth because the story was that the phoenix would rise from the ashes. Yes. But we're going to leave Greece and we're going to go to Egypt where they had the okay. same myth. But the myth was different because it wasn't a bird. It was the sun. You are now okay. the sun. I'm the the sun. sun that would rise at the end of every day as the phoenix would rise from the ashes. It would rise from the dawn the way the phoenix would. These are the first stories of resurrection and rebirth. These are myths. This is the wow. power of myth to come okay. back from what's being destroyed. You may let go, you stay right where you are. Mm -hmm. Because out of those ashes, the phoenix would rise again. What? Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Oh, look, completely what? restored. Wait, but look, those are your initials. That means this is the same piece of paper we've been doing with. Is that yes. right? Just rub them right there. Those are really there, right? They're really and there. And what about the middle? Is that really restored? That's really there. Because people say, what happened to the ashes? What happened to the burn? Rub right there, uh -huh. and then rub the back of your hand. Rub there, and then the back of your hand, and there, and the back of your hand, and there, and the back oh, of your hand, oh. and then just take your hand and just go open it like that. What? Wow. A wow. mystery. Wow. Mystery. Wait, when did you do that? Are you, are you, you couldn't okay? have done that. Are you, are you okay? in on that? No. Did you do that? 
Wait a minute. So listen here, you take some time for yourself. We're going to go on with the interview. Okay. <laughs> I have nothing to say. <laughs> do what is your show? The show is every Wednesday night through till the end of March. So every Wednesday night. So tomorrow night, huh. this is Valentine's Day. I yeah. think we're wow. sold out. But it's a, it, the Chicago Magic Lounge is this combination of close-up magic. You really are okay, right? Yes. Okay, excellent. So it's close-up magic and fine dining and food and a magnificent stage performances. They mm. run seven days a week. It's a fabulous and place. And you're always bringing people on stage, doing always crazy doing stuff. Always doing crazy stuff. You oh. had to have put this in my hand at some point. Yeah, but, but never. And how? Exactly. Ooh. Let's roll the tape. No. This was, oh. Oh, okay. Thank wow. You. Right. Wow. Thank you for joining us, Amazing. Peter. There Incredible. You go. A little story yeah. for you. Okay. So for I'm, I'm shocked. For tickets to Peter's show at oh. Chicago Magic Lounge, going on now until March 27th. He's blown my mind. I, I don't know what to do here. Uh, I'm lost, confused. Head to chicagomagiclounge.com. Wow. I'm in love with magic now. Are you? Incredible. This has changed you. This has changed me. I believe in magic now. Do you